IISD Reporting Services is here in Cancun, Mexico for the 5th Assembly Meeting of the Global Environment Facility and the 46th Jeff Council Meeting, reporting on selected side events convening in parallel with the Jeff Council Meeting. Inside the Conference Center on Tuesday, May 27th, delegates discuss climate change adaptation projects and an event organized by the Jeff Secretariat called the Jeff Adaptation Program and Beyond, Exploring Lessons Learned and Pathways to Scale. Dr. Nako Ishii, CEO and Chairperson of the Jeff, delivered opening remarks and explained the prominence of Jeff projects. Our adaptation program financed mainly from LDCF and SCCF has grown to encompass more than 240 projects in more than 120 countries with grants amounting to nearly $1.2 billion. Ralph Payet, Minister of Environment and Energy from the Seychelles, spoke from the heart and emphasized the fundamental importance of climate change adaptation in small island nations. The subject of adaptation, as you probably all know, is the foundation of our me humanity, or me natural systems. S systems for uh, thousands of years have adapted to changes that they faced. But today, humans are faced uh, with a challenge which uh, threatens our very existence. Dr. Judy Wakangu, Kenya's Cabinet Secretary for Environment, Water, and Natural Resources, delivered remarks on the adaptation programs that are improving her country. Panelists focused their remarks on the successes that these programs have had for people on the ground and the transformations that they have made in individual lives. I was in the Solomon Islands uh, two weeks ago, um, just after the, 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 the flood, flooding that happened. And I have to confess, you feel a sense of helplessness um, that uh, it's, it's so you know, overpowering that you wonder whether any of what we're doing um, does have any impact. It really is about people. And right now, these funds have supported, at least through the interventions that UNDP uh, has been involved in, nearly two million people. It sounds like a lot. Um, and when you look at the num amount of funding that's available, actually it's not a lot uh, per person. So, you know, relatively speaking, the needs are many. Um, we need to find ways in which uh, we can scale up not only interventions, but also financing. One of the main lessons that was learned is inclusion and bringing people in and having their voice heard. How much adaptation are we teaching those kids at, at early age to, to understand uh, climate change is a complex issue, but how, how do we engage them so that when they grow up, they become you know, fishermen or other interveners in the front line, they understand what they're dealing with. These 240 Jeff adaptation projects in 124 developing countries are really a very precious and unique pool of information with lessons learned that we must capture. All of these interesting accounts and lessons learned will be compiled together in a book to be released next year, explains Sahila Deborzak of the Jeff Secretariat. What we also want to do is reach out to budding adaptation practitioners. We want to excite them. We want to uh, show them that it's not all gloom and doom. Tuesday was the last day of side events here at the 46th Jeff Council meeting, but watch out for more coverage of the 5th Jeff Assembly, brought to you by IISD Reporting Services. Mm -hmm.